awaiting another press conference, this one from Murray County. We've got the deputy fire chief who is speaking, uh, letting us know exactly what is happening, if there is a number of missing or not. Let's go ahead and listen in. We no longer have any pending rescues. Um, we do have multiple injuries that have been transported by uh, Murray Regional EMS um, and can confirm uh, currently one fatality. Um, units are still conducting uh, secondary searches, but um, most houses have all, uh, all houses have uh, had a primary search completed. So that means at this point, kind of the main search and rescue, no one's unaccounted for? Uh, that's correct. Uh, we, we don't have any pending calls for, for any assistance. Um, we are doing grid searches of the area. Uh, we have a total of six task forces assigned um, to six different grids. Uh, completing these searches, and that's made up of crews from Columbia Fire Department, uh, Murray County Fire Department, uh, Spring Hill Fire Department, Franklin Fire Department, Brentwood, uh, Williamson County, Lawrence County, uh, Hohenwald are all agencies represented, as well as our law enforcement partners, Murray County Sheriff's Department, Spring Hill Police Department, Columbia Police, uh, THP, um, as well as, well as uh, Murray Regional EMS is here at, and with their surrounding partners that have all um, staged here at a command post extracting patients out as uh, they're brought out to the command post. How bad is the damage and how is that making your search effort more difficult? Uh, an, the initial trees down uh, did, you know, uh, hinder some initial efforts. Heavy equipment has gained access uh, to all areas. Um, we have been able to make access to all homes. Uh, heavy equipment is now going to try to work on opening both lanes of travel. There's at least one lane of travel open on all, on all roadways uh, locally. So uh, our heavy equipment partners from highways, TDOT, uh, local municipalities have all come in and uh, cleared roads and, and, and really allowed our emergency crews to make access to these people that needed help. Do you have a ballpark number as to how many people were injured or transported? Uh, I don't have uh, an initial estimate on that, uh, but, but multiple, multiple injuries. Do you uh, just have a message to the public? Obviously, we're seeing a lot of people trying to get through this area, making it harder for you guys to yeah. get through. Uh, our law enforcement partners are cordoned off the area. Uh, they will be here throughout the night uh, denying access. And that's the biggest thing is that uh, people just not to come to the area. Uh, we do have all the resources that we currently need. Um, and again, uh, all the all the people have been uh, removed from the area. So um, just don't don't add congestion. Uh, our the highway departments are, are trying to, to clear trees. And again, uh, our law enforcement partners are denied access to all the roadways. How would you compare this damage to other storms that have hit the area in the past? Uh, in recent history, for sure, this is a, a you know catastrophic tornado. I don't know the level uh, currently, but um, it is one of the more severe storms we've probably seen in the last uh, five to ten years. As, uh, as just somebody who, who lives here, you know this area well, uh, given what you see, just what comes to mind? Uh, yeah, I grew up I grew up right here, um, and my parents' uh, house was damaged um, right, up, right up the road. Uh, so I'm very familiar with the area, um, and so, um, yeah, it's uh, pretty devastating uh, damage throughout the area. How long do you think it will take until you guys finish that secondary search and kind of where do things go from here? Uh, I expect that to be completed within the next hour or two. It's more methodical, more slow, uh, and they're just really checking to make sure that, uh, you know, all homes have been properly searched and marked. Um, and again, um, our local emergency management, Murray County Emergency Management, along with our mayor's office, uh, they are all they are coordinating state uh, resources, federal resources if needed. So um, they are managing uh, the incident on a on the much bigger scale. Uh, the fire departments, law enforcement, highway departments were handling the incident uh, here at this level, but uh, they are bringing in any resources that we need, sheltering people that need uh, that need shelter, and just doing all those big picture things that need to be done. Given the damage you've seen, would you say it's lucky that only one person was killed in this uh, again that's preliminary uh, I don't I don't have a, a total um, count on that um, due to the extensive damage yes uh, that you know that would be a very low number for the amount of damage that's done but again uh, that that's a preliminary number for now I know it's hard to tell right now given that this is also new but how long in terms of you know days weeks months would you say this is going to take to clean up uh, I mean, as far as getting the roadways open, um, that's going to be done within the next, um, you know, 24 to 48 hours. Uh, th that'll be done as far as, you know, just 
uh, clearing debris, that's going to be a very lengthy process and a re long recovery process for all these homeowners. Anything else you want to add that we didn't ask you? Uh, no, just uh, again, just please, uh, please avoid the area. It only hinders, uh, it only hinders our response, and um, just assist with that. Thank you. Thank yep. you. Thank you. All right. You've been listening to Deputy Fire Chief there in Murray County Fire talking about uh, what he's seen here in the evening hours. Uh, I think it's just tremendous he yeah. is, that they have literally, as he just said, searched every house and everyone is accounted for at this point, except for those who are taken to the hospital and, of course, that one fatality. Yeah, they've done their initial searches right mm -hmm. now. They are completing their secondary searches and they expect to have those uh, completed within an hour. So there's no pending calls right now either in Murray County. So again, just a reminder, don't go to that area. They want to make sure that, and they're using all the different multiple groups that are coming in to help them to secure it, to make sure that the roads are already passable, at least by one lane. They mm -hmm. just want to keep everybody out so they can get their hands on everything in that county as they can now start this rebuilding and recovery process at this point. But tremendous work by such a, almost like an orchestra of organizations. Oh, yeah, it was a, a, a complete mm -hmm. team effort to get all of that, uh, everything that they've done completed mm -hmm. at this hour. You know, if there's something that you think you want to do, Mayor Sheila Butt said it earlier, pray for, for their county. That's yeah. what you can do right now. Uh,